you do yoga gymnastics? No, I don't. Um, anyway, we already covered all that. Okay, let's get to, let's get some American news again. Even though NATO is American news. Finally, the American Congress is doing something right. Senators are calling for an FDA probe into Logan Paul's energy drink. Popular energy drink is under scrutiny. Prime is the beverage brand founded by YouTube stars Logan Paul and KSI. Prime Energy is especially popular with kids, even though there is a warning label that says it is not recommended for anyone under age 18. Senator Chuck Schumer is now calling on the FDA to investigate the drink over its high caffeine and the way it markets itself. A lot of parents may never heard of it, but their kids have. Dude, this is great. Great. I cannot wait for Prime to be even more popular than it ever was before. Unless they actually pass some random fucking legislation to, like, stop it dead in its tracks. This kind of criticism from, like, the libtards and the republicans alike oh my god it's gonna be so fucking popular he's gonna make so much more money it's crazy because prime is engaged in a vast advertising campaign aimed at kids even though kids aren't supposed to yeah. drink yeah he got engaged much caffeine well cnn has reached out to the fda and prime for a comment on its energy drink not yet received a response. We should note the company also makes a prime hydrate beverage, which does not include caffeine. Joining us now is CNN medical correspondent Meg Terrell and CNN business and politics correspondent Vanessa Yurkevich. Meg, I want to start with you. You know, the Senate Majority Leader is saying kids shouldn't drink the amount of caffeine in prime. How much caffeine does this drink have and how much is safe for kids? What is it, six times the Diet Coke or something? Consume. Yeah, so this uh, drink has about 200 milligrams of caffeine in a 12 ounce can. And to try to put that into some context, that's about two bottles of Red Bull. Those are smaller bottles, about 8.4 ounces in a Red Bull can, um, or about six cans of Coke. So uh, that's in one of these cans. And according to the American Academy of Pediatrics, really kids shouldn't have any caffeine. Okay, 200 milligrams of caffeine is not that much. Stop saying holy fuck. One cup of coffee is 100 milligrams. Like. For a kid, yeah, sure. But like. Sean, you're a sicko though. Yeah, Rain and the good rock stars are 180 milligrams. 200 isn't that much higher. That's a fuck ton. And I drink coffee. Also teach these gremlins and they're fiends for caffeine right now. Yeah, I mean, I think they'll probably tackle their marketing initiatives. Except if you tackle their marketing initiatives right now, and say you can't market the children any longer while you're doing quite literally the greatest marketing initiative of all time by being the stinky adults that say, oh no, children, you can't have this. I don't know where that'll go. You're, you're probably making the problem worse. Some pediatricians say for kids who are, you know, 12 and older, maybe up to 100 milligrams per day, that's a soda or two. Uh, for adults, the FDA usually says about 400 milligrams per day generally doesn't affect people. But for kids, the warnings are, you know, this can affect their sleep, it can cause dehydration, higher blood pressure, anxiety, and there are concerns about too much caffeine's impact on their development in terms of uh, neurological that's development and their cardiovascular systems, guys. You see Chuck Schumer really taking aim at the marketing here. So, Vanessa, on that note, how is Prime cornering the market? And Sorry, you're making my most unfavorite kind of person speak up. Guys who brag about how much caffeine they can drink. Grown adults who probably brag about staying up late and having no bedtime. I just don't think it's that bad. <laughs> uh, I mean, it, I thought it was way worse. Definitely worse. for It's bad for children to drink that much caffeine, certainly. But... Uh, they should be like me, embarrassed for how much caffeine they consume in a day. Getting the attention of kids. 
Well, Prime really exploded on social media. On TikTok alone, they have 3.4 million followers, uh, 42 million likes. This is also driven in part by Logan Paul, the co-founder who has millions of followers himself. He does a lot of the advertising for the brand. But it's important to note that this is the energy drink side of the brand. There's also the sports drink side. But the energy market is huge. In 2022 alone, sales were at about $58 billion. Uh, billion. This year, we're going to see about $62 billion globally and projected in the next four years. Oh my god. Yo, this motherfucker literally made an energy beverage. Oh my god, he made a fucking drink that it's worth $83 billion and he was still doing crypto rug pulls, bro. Dude, dude, there is no god. There is no god, there is no karma, there is no karmic justice. Okay, my man is like the Henry Kissinger of doing small schemes, okay? Oh, this is the entire industry. Oh my god, I'm so I'm sorry. Okay, this is just the entire industry. I was like I was I was so scared. I I was uh, that makes no sense. I'm sorry. I am I'm I'm so sleepy. I literally just got out of bed. Or not out of bed. I just got off the plane. What am I saying? Oh. I have a bed. Bro, falling off? Dude, uh, my brain has fallen off. The missing Hunter Biden witness the GOP was promising for a while. There was just there was just charged with the DOJ, but for being a Chinese spy. Oh God. Oh no. They're still worth like two hundred. Yeah, the Aussies drank all my coffee. I went into the fridge. The fourth, mo the fourth most interactive Facebook post in June was a picture of a potato shared by an Amazon dropshipping page that users were writing amen underneath. This is the potato of luck. Don't ignore it, and tomorrow you'll get good news. 2.7 million likes and reactions. 3.1 million interactions on Facebook in June. That's what this potato got. Amen, amen, amen. That's what everyone's saying. God, we're so fucking stupid. I read a post, I think last night, or maybe when I was on the plane, I don't remember, that said... The amount of access to information that we have that's readily available through our phones and through the internet has created a structure where, like, the average American can be just as ignorant as a medieval peasant. Because you can just, like, Google everything, so you don't have to really learn anything. So now we have actually gone back and, and devolved and have the mental fortitude of a medieval peasant. Republican presidential candidate Doug Burgum is now giving $20 gift cards to anyone who donates $1 to him. People are hurting because of bot inflation and giving Biden economic relief cards is a way to help 50,000 people until we get in office and fix this crazy economy for everyone. That's so funny. He needs that so he can be like a real candidate. And he knows he can't get that unless he just fucking cheats. Bro, did you see the Dua Lipa photo? Do not Google on stream. Which which one? The one where there's uh, there's like the shower behind her. 
because I saw that one where Dua Lipa is in the shower or fresh off the shower, and then there's like prints on the shower, handprints. Don't remind me. Well, I just did. No, the one on the Barbie red carpet, that one made the transvestigators go crazy, like crazy horny. Like, what do you mean? What? Instagram. I looked up Dua Lipa, and the first thing that comes up on Instagram is Dua Lipa Albanian dance. Wait, what? Oh, wow. She looks great. Good for her. Dua Lipa see through gown Barbie premiere. Dua Lipa's totally see through bedazzled gown and crystal cover thong has us gasping for air. Yeah, it looks great. Good for her. Happy for her. Oh, this is another funny thing that uh, another Republican presidential candidate is doing. Rimic, uh, Vivek Ramaswamy is now offering supporters a 10% cut of the campaign money they raised for him, calling his new plan a revolution over traditional political fundraising. 